Hello and welcome to this How to ESP32. Today it's about how to install the Espressive IDE on your system. First go to the ESP IDF programming guide. Then scroll down to the point Eclipse plugin. You should now be redirected to the ESP IDF GitHub page. Now scroll down to installation. Here you will find the Windows IDE page. Click on it to get to the installer page. The IDE for Linux and Mac can be found here. Click on it. You will now be taken to a GitHub page with a different OS version. Select the version that suits you and download it. Under Linux, you now have a tar. Unzip it and then start the IDE. Now you have to select a location for your workspace where your programs will be saved. Now the IDE opens. Finally, you have to download the Espressive IDF. Click on Add ESP IDF and select a version. Now you just have to set the path for the IDF and click on Finish. Now the download will start. I will fast forward this step as it takes some time. Now that the installation is finished, you can create a new project. In this menu, you can set the project name and what kind of ESP32 chip you are using. Espressive also has numerous example projects here. Let's just take the Blink example. Confirm your selection with Finish and open the project, which is displayed on the left side. Under the folder Main and Main C is the source file. The hammer symbol triggers a build process that tests the code and then automatically flashes the chip. With the play button, the IDE starts the code and with the red square you stop each process. You have here a little menu where you can choose the project that you want to build or start and a little menu to choose the device you want to flash on. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you liked the video. If so, then like and subscribe and see you next time.